Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Modded Minecraft Let's Play. And in today's episode, hopefully it all goes to plan, but we all know me, nothing goes to plan. So, main aim of today, I want to get power. Reese, I've not even had a chance to empty my inventory because I thought, meh jump straight on do another video. I am sorry about the ending of the last one because it apparently it decided to cut out after 28 minutes. Don't ask me why, don't ask me how, I still have no clue. But in the previous episode we made a gold chest. For those who are wondering how much the gold chest actually holds, it holds the exact same as the inventory, 9, but it also holds I don't even have to count, I'm just doing this. It holds a 9x9, nine nine, so 81 stacks. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So, yeah, it's a nice chest. The diamond chest holds considerably more. But, the main thing that I want to head to is don't know why it's doing that. I want two things. Power. So I can progress further down in the mod pack. And I also want an ME system. Which that's why I love the meteors. They give you the parts that you need to start the Clyde Energistics. So eventually, there it is, we use this, and we can turn it into this, which I will be automating them. But 4K ME, and they are used, oh, okay, my game froze up. Anywho, they used to progress further so you can make higher tier items to eventually be able to hold an enemy system. So, for easy power today, I will be using, I think I picked them up, these the wooden kinesis pipes and the stone kinesis pipes. They're quite easy to make. I am going to just make some more stone. Which I need cobblestone, glass. And I'll grab the rest of the cobblestone from in here. And then. More. Well, I need these three resources. Anywho. So. If I type it in. We got kinesis pipes. So E2 RF per tick. Ooh. They transfer better. Alright. Oh. They're the same as wood. Did not know that. Diode. Whoa. Oh. Gold kinesis. Shoot. Gold. This is quite a nice one. But if you want to get good power, you need emerald and diamond. But I will admit, these conduits, they're a bit outdated when it comes to a different mod, Endryo. But for quickness, and just how simple it is, we're going to be using. Good craft. So, main thing we want to aim for, which we can actually not craft, is this. So, if I type in build craft, there is 41 pages. I just Craziness. Oh, 
Oh, so this is. Oh my. <laughs> yeah. So the first thing that we need for the whole pack, because we need to get to the quarry, etc., but that's later on. For power, I want to use the water wheel, which is quite cheap. Eventually we can go into... I want to also try that, but it's... I think that's still a bit buggy, but, um... Ugh. You got water wheel. <coughs> Sorry about that. But you also have the. They're probably somewhere here. Where are they? Do I not have them in the pack? Oh, we do. Sterling engine. Combustion engine, redstone engine, and then creative engine. Hmm. But each of them we could use, or I'll probably go dive into another mod pack for power. But not to begin off with, like I said, we want to begin off with the water wheel. Which is four stone, four iron, four cobblestone, and a wooden gear. So, just for quickness, let's do this. And I will actually, since I have a bit of sandstone, actually I'll stick with the cobblestone because I'm not going to need a lot. So, that reminds me, I need the copper from here. So, since I want to multitask with what I need to do, I'm just going to smelt a bunch with that down, so a bunch of stone into uh, a couple stone into stone, sorry. I'm going to mine the iron with an iron hammer, if I've got any iron spare, which I probably don't. It'll just be my luck, but I want to break all this down. So, how can I get free iron to begin off with? I should have some iron here around here. Probably already smelted them down. Oh yeah, I did. It reminds me, I want to collect all the loot bags that I've gathered so far. And put them into one chest. Because that way I know where they are and... I can keep up to date with them. There is ways of getting loot bags without fighting. That's for later on though. So, main task is I need to head outside to the smeltery. It's not really a task, it's more of a job. I only need one ore for what I'm about to do. So let's head out there, and I'm also going to throw a nice amount of copper dust into the smeltery as well. As that would then aid me in progressing further as well. Because I'm also making something that I need to metaphorically store the power. So let's ch chuck 18 copper dust. That will double, so instead of end up with 18, I'll have 36. So this copper's going to smelt. We got alumite. Oh no, it's not alumite, it's alumin aluminium brass. Ugh. That's one thing. I hate being dyslexic. For those who actually know me, yes, I am dyslexic. It's pain in the bum, to put it politely. 
because from one day to the next, I don't know how I'm going to say something, I don't know if I'm going to spell it right, it's, yeah, I'm going off topic. So, quite easily, we've now got two iron ingots. I'm just going to leave the copper to smelt up, and we have a mob on the top of the temple. Great, here you go. Now I'm heading outside again, I want to head inside. So, all the stone is smelted. But, oh! Okay, when did I go to create an iron chest? I didn't. Did it bug out? Because I made the gold chest. I don't remind, remember making two iron chests. Do I need it? Hmm. This is a tough one. Because the iron would be useful right now, but the iron chest is also quite nice. You know what? I'm going to make it. I'll put it there. An iron chest is like a double chest. No, seriously, it is a double chest in one. Which is quite amazing. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then the other chest has got six by nine. So, like I did before, this is when I need a builder's wand, which we'll get later on. When I fight a wither or A deficient sigil from the loot bags, which is a bonus. So, placing all of this iron down, tedious task, but it's also very efficient of way of getting just like pure resources which you need. So, quite easily, I hold vein mine. Vein mines it. Click uses. Oh, I had 52. Now I've got 62. So, yeah, you do get a bonus. Oh. And as long as it's all connecting. Doesn't matter how big it is, it still works. So from 62, oh, we got over a stack. Well, I'll be surprised to say we had 62. We got a bonus of eight ores. That's nice. And it sounds like I'm placing sand. Or it is iron sand, so. So just placing all of this down will allow me to then vein mine it into dust. So from sixty no seventy ores. Ooh, wrong key. From sixty no seventy. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna say it's all wrong. From seventy ore to what? No way, we've made a huge bonus. We got a stack in 16. So all in all, from the beginning of having 52, we have made a bonus of 28 all. So we have got an extra 28 or from 52. Which is another, so 28 times 2, that's 56. 
I'm just hoping that creeper hasn't seen me. Oh. Oh. My battery's full. <laughs> that also means my hammer's almost dead as well. I didn't realise that. Yay, creeper despawned. But now is when we need we have a bit of problem. I need gold. Never mind, I've got ten gold. Since I've got the mining dimension, I will be going mining in there, off camera. Like the previous episode, which I took you along. Oh. What? Hammer, mine's gold. Well, if we're trapped in between a rock and a hard place, I'd need another diamond before I can do any work with gold. Oh my. And I need gold to progress further. So, yeah, this is going to be fun. We're off to the mine dimension again. So, in the mine dimension, like I was saying yesterday, or in Overworld as well, I do have a bug with the ores. I'm going to just reiterate this. It doesn't bother me. I know some people it does bother, there's more than one ore type, and it's a case of like there's five different types of copper ore, five different cases of tin ore, there's this many of that ore, it's, and I don't mind, it's something to do with the config. No, I'm not going to be sitting there for a few hours trying to figure it all out. I prefer it. Uh, I'm gonna have to. Means I won't bump my head as much. But anyway, yeah. It doesn't bother me that there's more than one ore type. If anything, it bothers me more when people start going on at me saying get it fixed or change it so there's not many ores sure if I release a pack and you want to do that go for it but I find you actually get more ore as it sounds odd you get more of like that ore if you leave it untouched so let's say you get two veins of copper one from tinkers one for mine factory they're right by the side of each other. Think of it this way. If you didn't have Tinkers and Mine Factory in the pack, you might have not had that vein. Or, or if you had Tinkers but not Mine Factory, you, that copper vein wouldn't have been as big. That's how I think of it. Is I have multiple mod packs, have multiple ores, get more ore. If you don't change it so the config says only spawn dot dot or instead of this or it's just my personal opinion. I may be wrong. But that's my view on it. So if people want me to change it, all I'm gonna say is look, you wanna change it when I release a pack? Change it. Doesn't bother me. I'm going to stick with what I know and what I feel is going to mean to be the best for me. And not everybody would like that, I know. Everybody has a different opinion. So. As you can see, I hit the cave area. Uh, one block. Mm. 
brighteners, copper, tin, etc. down there. I don't need that. I'm heading all the way down to lava level. So block 12. I got a fairly empty inventory and the main reason I'm coming here is because I need diamonds. So, for quickness, I'm just going to block this up. I'm going to use this as my escape route down to a diamond level, which isn't far. I need to get my coordinate, if you look up in the top right, from 19 down to block 12, which is that, where I've got obsidian here. So, I'm going to end the video here, sadly, I know this isn't a long one, but I'm going to do a bit of mining, well, strip mining which all I do is I go in straight line okay never mind well and truly did not plan for that wow um, I'm speechless positively just I don't even know what to say though yeah so I just got another four ore and since I've got fortune on the pick which is luck I've just got so I have one mine four so I've got another three wow okay yeah like I say I did not plan for that I am speechless and just blown away but yeah, I found out that the video as well cut out about 28, so that's roughly soon. So, I'm going to head back to base, and I will see you in the next one. Sorry this isn't much of a, uh, that long of a video, but yeah. Have a good day, have a good night, I'll probably do a tiny bit more strip mine off camera, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Max's Modded Let's Play. So, have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you in the next one. This is me. Maxi, signing off. Bye, guys. Oh, mining blocks now.